everyone, and thank you for being here. And um, I'm Soyoung Oh, and I'm a, a program manager for curriculum design and digital learning at NYU School of Medicine. And today I'm going to present to you my research proposal on adaptive feedback and hint design for ECG interpretation. So by the end of this presentation, if we have enough time, you will be able to tell one or two things about me and understand the problems and <laughs> needs uh, related to ECG interpretation, and as well as hypothesis, and then finally criticize abundantly, if you have time, also <laughs> my research questions. <coughs> and about me, if I think about one keyword about myself is inter. So uh, I was born in Korea, I lived in France, and then I moved in, uh, to New York City where I live with my um, husband and my interracial child who didn't want to sign any consent form um, on his <laughs> pictures other than this. And um, I, in three countries, I studied cognitive science, you know, instructional media design, education uh, techno technology and sociology, journalism, and French literature. And at my work, I work with an interprofessional team uh, with whom I've been designing more than 300 e-learning resources. So this is time for me, if it's not too late, to think about the evidences of in, uh, instructional design. And so um, let's talk about the ECG. Why ECG? I'm sorry about that. So ECG is uh, the most commonly used um, cardiovascular diagnostic procedure. However, uh, the error rates in interpreting ECG is still very high at both medical students and residents. And as you can imagine, the consequence could be really serious. So the literature review uh, led us to define some problems and also needs um, to improve the ECG interpretation skills and knowledge. So to improve uh, the inter ECG interpretation skills and knowledge, uh, we need to address errors and misconceptions and uh, and also to enable uh, our learners to practice a various authentic ECG cases uh, by providing them with knowledge and skills that they need to improve. Because they cannot really go through like 1,000 ECG slides and also maybe 1,000 ECG slides may provide them only like half of them will be already known ECG problems also. And then also we cannot really add more hours in medical curriculum that is already heavy. So we thought about as opportunity like computer-based learning um, with adaptive uh, learning approaches, especially intelligent tutoring system, which is really case-based um, case learning, learning. So the key point of um, ITS, intelligent tutoring system, is to adapt um, tutoring information, the case, to learners' responses. And then like as ECG um, practice case has the question that um, that includes two sub-questions. One is visual like recognition and the other one is uh, diagnosis. So, and the only way to provide the tutoring information is through hints and feedback. So now like, uh, we'd like to think about how to design those hints and feedback. And there are many types of hints and feedback that you can think about. So like giving the, the information, the knowledge itself, but also like it, um, give the inferential hint, hints like what's the next step and then also the way to provide the hints, the timing of, of hints, like we can fade away the hint and we can always put it there. And the feedback also, we can give the feedback immediately or, or delayed. So to think about that, like, okay, how to design these adaptive hints and feedback to improve ECG um, interpretation? And then so, and also we have to think about, like in the case, if I design that, how, like, uh, let's think about how this design improved uh, learning outcomes. So that is the main point. So let's go back to our needs and then we talked about like we have to address errors and misconceptions. The problem is we don't know about that. Like there is no really research paper of, uh, that talked about common errors or, or misconceptions. So my first research question is about that. Like let's think about, let's examine which features of ECG um, make the, the interpretation, interpretations more or less uh, difficult what are the common problems, common misconceptions. And I think the outcome of this study will help me define the content for hints and uh, feedback. And then after that, still, like even if I have the content, I should think about how to deliver that. So what would be the effective way to uh, define the types of hints and feedback? And I looked, at the, um, looked for the literature, and then I couldn't find really many studies about that. So, 
for that, the second study will be literature review, but not in ECG interpretation training, but in visual, visual interpretations, so that we can learn from other studies uh, related to visual interpretations, that how to teach the visual interpretations, what kind of approaches we can have. And then after that, the third um, study would be a um, focus group observation to see how really the experienced educator um, teach these ECG interpretations, providing um, hints and feedback. And, and after that, hopefully I can really design adaptive, not, not hopefully I have to do that, and I will design adaptive feedback and hints based on the finding that I found, I will find uh, after three research questions, three studies. And then the fourth question would be, like uh, how this adaptive uh, hints and feedback interact uh, with learning characteristics and case characteristics. And this will be a um, randomized control uh, trial and with variables like uh, adaptive hints, adaptive feedback, or non-adaptive hints, non-adaptive feedback, and no hints no, and no feedback. I still sh should think about how to do that. And then I'd like to thank my supervisors, who are Geraldine and Frank here, and uh, Martin Pusey at, um, in New York City. And then I'd like to finish my um, presentation with some questions. Like, um, I will measure the learning outcomes as like um, student score for the each questions, like uh, visual recognition questions and diagnosis questions. Uh, and also I'd like to measure the time on task on each questions, how much time they, they spent and how much time also they spent to read the feedback. And however, I wonder if I should think about some motivation also, I sh if there is a, like a, um, a way to measure that. So if you have any suggestions, well, of course, and like criticism or tips, <laughs> I'd love to take, take them. Thank you.